Black Science TV 111, Oseka 4. I'm back at y'all again. Today's subject is new energy. Now, it's no coincidence that when you look into the media, a lot of us are engaged in the conversations and things pertaining to what's going on with Beyonce. She's having twins, right? Madonna just adopted twins. Now, you must understand and understand that the twin energy is not really something that's divided. It's one whole bloodline. So when you are looking at twins, you are actually looking at one person. It's just that the full person is not together as a unit. Two minds is in two dimensions. This is why all twins are not alike. Because both minds is not in the same dimension as the other. One, one twin cannot be what the other twin is, even in a physical body. So just because you may see one twin here with the other twin don't mean that they're both inside of the same um, parallel universes. A parallel universe is double time, and this is what you call the twin bloodline system. So when you're studying twins, you are actually looking at a bloodline that is bringing in overtime. So the new energy that's coming in from the planet of Mercury is bringing in overtime to us. And the people in Hollywood, these elites or these beings that you never see, that body snatch so-called human bodies, these people need this energy to go into overtime because they are actually about to go extinct. When I say go extinct, I'm talking about the, the system of their consciousness. Because they have, they have a certain consciousness that is actually keeping them here until they expire. And because they're going to expire, and because they study science, they know the whole, um, they hold, they know the whole deviancy of the time clock. When we talk about the astrological time clock, we're talking about something that is living in the mind. And the, universal, the universe has a mind that has an expiration date for the thoughts that is in it. And who are the thoughts? We are the thoughts in the universe. So when the universe thinks a certain way, whether it thinks in a way to expire you or thinks in a way to, um, to help you to reincarnate through certain divisions, then this is what it is. Because this is what you call your mother. The universe is your mother. The, she don't only produce human beings, the mother produces spiritual bodies as well. You get what I'm saying? So when we're talking about this new energy that's coming in, they need this new energy in order to survive. And when you are studying twins, even though they both come out the same physical womb, they don't come out the same spiritual womb. And because they don't come out the same spiritual womb, they don't have the same mind state as far as their spiritual umbilical cord being attached to certain systems within the constellations of Orion. This is why I tell people don't get the physical confused. Because what's physical is the illusion. And what's inside the physical is the reality. That's the unknown. You don't really know what you look like, for real. The closest thing you're going to see in order to be able to know what you look like is when you look outside. And you look at the stars. You look at the moon. And you look at the sun. When you look at the birds. Nature. That's the closest. But this is not the actual um, image of what you are. Even energy has an image. It's just not shaped yet. What is a thought? A thought is energy until you shape it into what? A shape or a form to be able to bring it into a dimension to help people understand it by way of language. So without energy, language can exist. This is why I say that we are older than language because we are energy before language. We are older than titles. Why? Because we are energy before titles. This is why I tell people, stop um, putting spells on yourself when you go to the hospital and they tell you you have cancer. You don't have cancer. What you are can't have cancer. The body can have cancer or the body can get a virus. But what you are can never be attached to any type of thing that man make up in their mind to create as your illusion. And then you make the illusion your reality. That's our problem. We think that the illusion is weak. But once you make the illusion your reality, then guess what? It's more powerful than what you think. It's time to play chess. Because even though we're in an illusion, we can still use, use this to our benefits. This is the mark of the twin energies. One twin is an illusion. One twin is a reality. But they both are benefits to each other. The best of both worlds. This is where the saying comes from. The best of both worlds. Twin energies is merging. And the elites and the people who live in the inner earth and in the dimension that we call Hollywood need this energy in order to go into overtime. Remember what I said, everything on the outside of you is a reflection of what's going on in the spiritual world inside of you. So when you watch a football, they're talking about going into overtime. Football is a metaphysics too. I'm going to break that down too, how sports is metaphysics. 
It ain't, just, it ain't about men running up and down the field smacking each other on the ass. You get what I'm saying? It's more deeper than that. And they see this. And this is how they run the world. Because you see it as a physical thing. You see the physics part of it, but you don't see the metaphysics. Remember what meta means. Meta is what? The prefix of medicine. So in order for you to see things in a way where it's much deeper than what you think it is, you need medicine in your spiritual mind. And what is your medicine? Your common sense. When somebody is teaching you how to think, they take you out of that peripheral of you being able to see what things really are. Because what you see around you is more deeper than what you... Like I said, you have many realms around you right now. Moons is just not in the inner earth or in the sky. You have moons inside of you right now. You have organs inside of you that act as moons. You have cells inside of you that act as stars. Remember that um, as above, so below. So what is the organs and what is the cells of the universe? The sun, the moon, and the stars. So again, we have twin energies coming in. And now you're seeing a lot of the media trying to take your attention into the physical aspect of the twins. But the metaphysical aspect is they need this energy. There's a new twin energy coming in, which is going to give somebody overtime to be able to rule as far as the matrix. Now, we can rule the matrix as well. We, we, we don't only have to rule the unknown and the reality. We can rule the matrix as well. So who's going to rule it? As long as your mind is set on giving them energy to their so-called stars and celebrities. Remember, there's no such thing as a star in Hollywood. The only star that exists is your mother. And I'm not talking about your physical mother. I'm talking about Mother Nature. That's the only star that exists. And the only way that you can become a celebrity is by way of your mother. And I ain't talking about somebody who walked the red carpet. Because we have a real car red carpet that we can go into, which we call the womb. Part in the Red Sea. That's the red carpet. This is the womb. This is the vagina of the so-called black woman. You can drink the water. You can, you, you, we don't only part the Red Sea with our mind, but we can drink her water, her yoni, her yoni, or whatever you call it. And this right here is the star juice. This is the star kiss. This is the sunburst. All the stuff around you is metaphysics. It ain't just candy. The real candy is inside of the womb of the woman. If you eat it right, I guarantee you she'll let you walk that red carpet. When I say walking, I'm talking about she'll let you drink that red carpet. That red juice. That's the real juice. This is what opens up the pineal gland. This is what allows your horus to be able to explode in a way where you can allow the universe to, to, to actually give birth to certain things inside of her while she's here. I'm talking about her, her secretary. The black woman is the secretary of the universe. The closest you're going to see the universe is being in human form is when you look at that black woman. All right. So with that much said, Black Science TV 111, Osaka 4, I'm out. Peace. Bleak mode. Bleak mode. Bleak mode. She, I remember.